for your continued effect there. First thing we want to do in number five, as usual, is check for a GC. See, it's going to be the first thing. And if we notice that a three can come out of each one of these terms, so the first thing we want to do is factor out of three. So I'm left with x squared minus 6x plus 8. Now, once we factor out a GCF, inside the parentheses is a trinomial, so I want to try the bottoms up method which multiplies to give us we're looking for what multiplies to give us 8 and then adds to give us this middle term adds to give us a negative 6 all right so we have um, 8 is 1 times 8 well that's not going to be able to add to give me a negative 6 so then I'm going to say 2 times 4 and that can give me a negative 6 if they are both negatives now um, once we find our factors then we're going to put them over our first coefficient remember we said 1x and we split it up 1x 1x simplify this fraction 2 over 1 doesn't simplify, and then over here, negative 4 over 1 does not simplify, so we write from the bottoms up, so that becomes x minus 2, x minus 4, and then do not forget to drop the original GCF that we took out of the problem. So we factor GCF out first, and then do trinomial. Okay, and... Likewise, in number six, we're going to do the same process. Okay, we're looking for what multiplies. There's no GCF, so we're starting that. Now, this one looks a little bit different because there's two variables here, a Z, and then there's a Z squared here. There's just a minor step that we add to this procedure, so we'll just go with what we normally start with, 1 times 7. We're looking for what multiplies to give us 7. And adds to give us multiplies to give us seven and because that's a plus adds to give us an eight okay so we start with our first factor so it's going to be one times seven and that's going to give us eight now because of this z squared that means i'm going to put a z here and a z here and then everything else is exactly the same um i'm going to take i found these one plus seven is going to give me an eight I'm going to put it over my first term, split it up, 1x, 1x, nothing simplifies, so I'm going to write bottoms up, and that's going to be x plus z, and then this one's going to be 1x plus 7z, 1x plus 7z. So one little minor additional on that one if there's a variable at the end of your trinomial. Next in number seven, the first thing we're going to do is look for a GCF. And there is a, a three. I think a three can come out of number seven. So first thing we want to do is divide a three out of everything. So it's going to be three. I'm left with a squared plus four ab plus four b squared. Okay, we're going to look at the trinomial inside the parentheses and look for what multiplies to give us 1 times, multiplies to give us a 4. Okay, but then we want it to add to give us a 4. Okay, well then 1 times 4 is 4, but it doesn't add to 4. I'm going to try 2 times 2. Now remember we said if there was a, a variable here we would split it up and put it right there and then continue with our fraction. Once we find our factors that add to give it, multiply to give us 4, add to give us 4, then we take this first term of our trinomial we'll put it over 1a 1a, see if it simplifies. 2 over 1 and 2 over 1 do not, so I'm going to write from the bottoms up. It's 1a a plus 2b, then this one is 1a plus 2b, do not forget to drop your GCF, and then when I notice that these two are exactly the same, I can also rewrite this as 3 
times a plus 2b squared, so I can now take that one step further and write it using an exponent. Alright, let's look at number 8. We're also going to do the same thing. Check for GCF. There is no GCF. So we're going to start with our bottoms up. We're looking for what multiplies to give us a 15, but it's going to add to give us a positive 16. Okay, so that one's going to be... That one's easy for us. 3 times... Um, 5 is 15. And then 1 times 15, that's the one I said that was easy for us, and then I still did the other factor anyway, but, okay, so we have 1 times 15, it's 15, and it's adds give us 16. There's no variable here, so there's nothing that goes there, so now we move to here, we want to divide by a 5x, and divide this side by a 5x. Now we finally have one that's going to simplify. One fifth does not simplify any further, but both 15 over 5 does. I can divide a 5 out of both of these. So I want to divide by 5, divide by 5, and now I write everything bottoms up. This becomes 5x plus 1. And this one becomes 1x plus 3. 1x plus 3, which is also just x plus 3. Okay? So do not forget to simplify. If you go through this whole step and have all the all the parts right and you forget to simplify this fraction right here, it makes our our factor not correct. Moving along, number nine. No GCF comes out of number nine, so we're gonna start by saying what multiplies to give us twelve, but we want to because of this we add to give us this middle term. Alright, so we start 1 times 12 does not add to give us 12. 2 times 6 will get us 8. So we found our factors. Once we do, we take and we put it over our original, our first um, term, which is going to be a 3 and splitting the x up, 3x, 3x. Then we want to simplify. 2 thirds does not simplify, but I can simplify over here and I can divide a 3 out of each. Divide by 3 divide by 3 right from the bottoms up so we get 3x plus 2 3x plus 2 and then over here we're going to get 1x plus 2 which is just x plus 2 we're going to be working with ones that simplify so next to number 10 we're going to do the same thing we're going to multiply to give us what's that 40 and then subtracts multiplies to give us 40 but it's gonna subtract right there to give us a 25 okay multiplies to give us 40 subtracts to give us 25 and we're gonna start with um let's see one times 40 that won't give me 25 two times 20 that's not going to give me 25. Let's see, the next factor is going to be 4 times 10. Well, that can't give me 25. And then I have 5 times 8 is 40. That won't give me 25. And I don't know of any other factors that multiply to give me 40 and subtract to give me 25. So since it's not happening and it's not possible, this does not factor and we call it prime.